We are back with a recap of the Cavs' uh, confusing mess of a game against the Timberwolves last night in Cleveland. So the game ends 124 to 129. Uh, the Cavaliers suffering their first loss on home court. Dean Wade, Donovan Mitchell, and Jarrett Allen were all out. Dean Wade was probably going to be too hurt to play anyway. Donovan Mitchell kind of tweaking his ankle uh, in, the, in the final seconds against the Warriors. And Jarrett Allen has apparently been dealing with his ankle injury kind of throughout the entire season. So maybe it's a precautionary rest for those two. Uh, who knows what, what the injury report looks like moving forward. But the team looked lost defensively right out of the gate. And credit to the Timberwolves for taking advantage and shooting well. It's not like the Cavs were just giving up constant wide open shots. There were there were a lot of uh, late closeouts, but credit to the Timberwolves for making the Cavs pay for some sloppy defense. D'Angelo Russell having 15 points, shooting 5 for 5 from the three-point line uh, in the first quarter was certainly a surprise, even if it was against a defense that wasn't quite playing at full strength or playing at their full potential because D'Angelo Russell has been, you know, he's been sporting career low averages coming into this game. So for him to have that crazy first quarter that he had, it kind of gave the Timberwolves an extra sense of life, especially when they probably saw that the lineup wasn't going to be at full strength for the Cavs and made an extra point to get up for this game anyway. I feel like Carl Anthony Towns uh, had a really dominant third quarter as well. So some of the key playmakers for the Timberwolves definitely coming out to play and definitely taking advantage of the Cavs and their uh, not starting lineup and even the lineup they did have, I thought, underperformed pretty vastly throughout the first three quarters of the game. And every time the Cavs offense got into gear, because after that first quarter, the Cavs offense kind of, uh, you know, it, it kind of picked up a little bit. The Timberwolves had an answer for it. Uh, they got out to a 20-point lead after the first quarter, and they would maintain that lead uh, through, through halftime in the third quarter as well. It just seemed like the Cavs weren't able to uh, make any progress for the first three quarters as anytime they would go on a little bit of a run the Timberwolves would answer right back with a run of their own and I feel I felt like the Cavs missed Jarrett Allen especially defensively and on the rebounds on the boards uh, specifically Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns were problems on the offensive glass all game they let up a lot of second chance points to the Timberwolves last night and that is something that definitely played a factor into how the game uh, ended in the final score uh, you're going to need more than four points from Evan Mobley especially if Jared Allen is going to miss any more games if Evan Mobley needs to contribute a little more offensively I know he is more of a you know get the get the rebound guy and he's not going to put up a monstrous amount of points uh, per night maybe about he, he should have about 15 to 20 points per game but four points is definitely not near close enough to to something you'd like to see from Evan Mobley in a game where he is the only guy in the front court starting that usually is a starter the Cavs shooting 27 out of 39 from the three free throw line definitely hurt them, uh, especially when you look at the final score and you see all those missed uh, free throw shots. The Timberwolves actually shot pretty bad themselves as well too. They shot a 69% chance from 69% from the free throw line, which while it is nice, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good percentage. Nice doesn't always equal good. Uh, in the final seconds, the Cavs were managed to get it down to two points, and we'll talk about the fourth quarter performance in, uh, right after this. But the Timberwolves miss a shot, but they get one of those offensive rebounds to send the game to essentially a free throw shooting mini game. The Timberwolves make their free throws. The Cavs can't really find a way to catch up, and that's how the game ends in a five point deficit. So in the fourth quarter, Darius Garland uh, went off. He had a historically good fourth quarter. His 27 points in that quarter is the most scored in a fourth quarter in franchise history. Uh, he ended the game with 51 points. That is the current NBA season high. You, you think somebody might get more than 51 eventually, but as for right now, that is the current NBA season high for points in a game. So uh, props to Darius Garland for not just mailing it in when the Cavs were down by a bunch heading into the fourth. And honestly, I don't think the Cavs got any points in the fourth quarter until after until that until like it was within 10 minutes so Darius Garland did all that scoring uh in 10 minutes not even 12 uh he was having a pretty solid game before that fourth quarter as well he was uh shooting the ball pretty pretty well and, and contributing well offensively it just nothing else was going right for the Cavs I thought Seti Osman had a pretty good fourth quarter performance too uh something that is a little discouraging was Karis Levert being benched and for good reason in the important stretch of the fourth quarter He's been very up and down to start the to start the season so far. Uh, when he's on and when he's rolling, it's it's great. He should be the starter. But when when he's not on his game, then he's uh, he he's he should 
definitely be on the bench if he's not playing very well. Uh, but sometimes you just don't have an option. You have to at least give Karis LeVert an opportunity to try. I'm not saying if he misses his first two or three shots, just bench him for the whole game. But when he is going to be, you know, when he's not on his game for a whole game and when it's, it's not going his way, then you can really see that impact on the court. Uh, but if this game in the end, if this gets Darius Garland out of his slump and it gives everyone else the opportunity to get healthy, then I think this loss will be worth it in the long run. It just sucks that this is another loss in what is now a four-game losing streak and it's just, it doesn't look good and it's just the, the Cavs momentum from the early season is has been spiraling down towards earth as of late. But again, I, I do think if this gets Garland out of his slump, if the team can regroup and, and play like we saw them playing in their eight-game winning streak, then I do think this will be a temporary setback for better days ahead. And the eight-game cushion that they did give themselves means that they can recover from this bad stretch of play, the, the West Coast trip, and now having a, a bit of a less-than-ideal lineup against the Timberwolves that doesn't get the job done anyway. They can recover from this and start playing back to where we saw them playing, and they can still be in a pretty good spot moving forward. It's just kind of tough to see this game happen, especially when they are they look so good and so dominant in the fourth quarter, and Darius Garland goes off like that, knowing that if they just played like that for not even a whole, a whole other quarter, but just for a little bit, for a stretch of the game, if they just had that level of play and commitment against the Timberwolves, and they probably leave this game with a W, or if they have just a, a, an okay shooting night at the free throw line, then they probably get this done too. But overall, it's disappointing to see, but I'm not I'm not pressing any panic buttons on the season quite yet because I do think now that Darius Garland has shown that he can, he's found himself in his game with Donovan Mitchell and Jared Allen healthy in this lineup and Dean Wade as well. I feel like Dean Wade's had a good start to the season and him not playing did have an impact on this game. Then I do feel like the, that can uh, culminate in the Cavs playing better as the season moves further along. So thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, please feel free to leave a like and a subscribe if you liked the video and like to see more like it. Let me know what you think about this game down in the comments below and I will see you at the next one.